In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove Windows 7 from a dual boot with Ubuntu. And this will also apply to Windows 8, XP, Vista, etc. But if you're after it the other way around of removing Ubuntu from a Windows dual boot, then there's a different video and there's links to the description below for that. So the tools we'll need are Gparted. This is a live CD version of Gparted, which you can just download from the website. Again, there'll be a link to that in the description below. They get an ISO file of Gparted, and you just need to do something with that. So you could either burn it to a CD using Brazio, or write it to a USB memory stick with UNET boot in. All those programs are available in the Ubuntu Software Center. Actually, Brazio comes pre-installed, doesn't it? Right, so I'll show you this in VirtualBox. So fire it up. And there's the boot screen of Gparted. So, yeah, just press Enter. There aren't too many steps involved in this tutorial, but I'll start with what you need to do in Gparted. So the options you need to choose are Don't Touch Key Map. Then you can select your language. Uh, US English is close enough for me, but if you wanted to choose something different, well, for me, I could go for British English. And just press Enter here for which mode do you prefer. Zero is fine. Now what we have here is a graphical representation of the partitions on the hard drive. So that's the Windows bootloader, Windows 7, Ubuntu, and the Linux swap partition. To get rid of Windows, actually it's simple. Just press delete on that. And also press delete on the Windows bootloader. Now hopefully you recovered all your data before you're doing all this, otherwise uh, let's just stop right now and reboot and go back and recover what you need from Windows. Or next, click on the turquoise box, or the cyan coloured box there, whatever you want to call it. Choose resize slash move. Drag it right back to where you had Windows. Yep, resize move. And then for this box as well, resize move. Again, drag it all the way back across. Resize move. Right, we've got a warning here. Moving a partition might cause your operating system to fail to boot. Yes, OK. I've tried it out and it does work fine. It does end up in a bit of a funny way, so perhaps the best option should actually be to reinstall Ubuntu. But if you've got data on there and if you've got a nice custom setup, maybe you don't want to do that. So that's why this method might be preferable. Right, it could take quite a while depending on the size of your Ubuntu partition and the speed of your hard drive. For me, it's reporting it's going to take a couple of minutes there. Probably doesn't help I'm recording this screencast and dumping data to the hard drive while it's trying to move lots of data around. And there's a torrent going on, also dumping data to the hard drive. So yeah, I've got a lot happening here. Right now Gparted has finished what it was doing. Double click on exit and I'll select reboot. Yep, press enter there. We have removed the disk. Mm, yeah, come off. Right, you've got the old grub screen back there that still says Windows 7 Loader. Yeah, don't select that. Just go back for Ubuntu. Now we're going to edit that grub menu. So to do that, we've opened up Terminal. There's an optional line we can change here in the config file for grub to get rid of the timeout. So we just boot straight into Ubuntu. So there's no to this in the description below. But it's that line there, sudo sed dash i and then string amendment of grab timeout equals 10 to grab timeout equals 0 in the etsy default grab file. Press enter, type in your sudo password. So now when I look at it, oh yes, grab timeout equals 0. Now I'll do sudo update grub. Do a reboot. There you go, rebooting back into Ubuntu. Just gone straight into the operating system. And now to double check the disk space, I'll just open up Nautilus, right click on home, get properties. Oh yeah, free space, 53.4 gig. Excellent. So that's how you remove Windows from a dual boot with Ubuntu. So thanks for watching, see you later.